Hi guys, it's another one of Keelan's Assassin's Creed Valhalla playthrough. This is episode 6. Last episode, we were just cleaning up the map, going around the bottom side, um, making sure that we were cleaning up everything along the way, from mysteries to raiding different villages to clearing up gold. So, um, I put in some time lapses. I did like, obviously, the, uh, the fade in from one screen to another. What I'm going to be doing this episode is I'm going to be using the time lapse to collect the three gold treasures here. And then I'm going to untime lapse it and go straight into the mysteries. But I'm going to do the mysteries with you guys because um, you don't really need to see the gold too much. But the mysteries maybe are quite interesting to some of you. So that's what we're going to be doing this episode. Really excited to get into this. How do we get off this to begin with? I think we just... All oh, saying that though, I think the gold is in this house. So... Um, yeah, probably going to time lapse now. We've got all the gold by the looks of things on the map, so we don't need to do any more gold. Now, this is this here is like a note, and you have to do this quite quickly. Um, I think um, it flies away. So I remember this was a big thing in like Assassin's Creed Black Flag with the shanties, where you'd have to run after the shanties to catch them before they basically flew away. Um, so I wonder if that's a similar thing here. I don't actually know where it is, though. Um, it seems to be... Oh, there it is. It's right... 
is there, I think. So how do we get... Do we? What way do we go? Do we climb up this way, I think, maybe? Yeah, I think we climb up... There it is, up there, at the top right. We're going to climb up this house here. And we're going to run at it. And hopefully our climbing skills are good enough to catch it. Um, it is one of the beginner ones. I'm hoping it's going to go easy on us. Let's go. Okay, run, 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 run. Can we get it? Can we get it? I think we have to press something on it when we get there as well. Run, jump. Good. Run, 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 run. Ah, we got it. Nice. So, tattoo design collected. That's two out of three in Rig Yalfalk, or whatever this place is called. Uh, so probably someone else can tell me how to pronounce that. I'm probably doing it completely wrong. Um, we got a few mysteries to do. So, I want to go take out this uh, mystery ahead of us over to the right. Um, over here. Um, I do want to do all the mysteries and clean up the area before I start moving on to the story. Oh, look, a donkey. Ah, here we go. Talk to this guy. Welcome, warrior. Sulk. Okay, Silver Tongue offers wonders from across the nine worlds. Rare objects. Priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. But I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit. These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap? Belonging to the hero Sigurthur when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. And what about that helmet? That was the helmet Halfdan the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Varen wore the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? Yeah, that's I me. I know you now, Silke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Kjotbe pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kjotbe. I ran. Coward. I should cut you down. Yeah, you should. No. Cut him down. Oh, right, we've got to catch him. You will answer for your okay, actions. how do we dive onto him? Oh no, he's quick. Oh no. Get off. Run. Okay, come on. We can get him. Surely. We had a sleeper, we could just fire that in. How ah! many? Is there a way to tackle? I don't know the tackle button. Come on, jump down. No, down. No, no, down. Thank you. Okay, is he gone? Is this him? Ow. Have we lost him? That was just happened. Oh, what is this guy doing, honestly? Look at him. He's big and... 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 Slow. Can't believe we lost that guy. Ow. Okay. Right, off you go. I'll jump down with you. We'll stomp you. Right. That's for getting in the way, because I lost him now. Oh, what? I think this is meant to be like a friendly village. Why am I getting attacked? What was on? Like, what's going on here? Have that. Take the axe for the face, mate. Oh, God. Okay. Um, parry. Ah, get stunned. Right, we're going to jump on you, mate. <laughs> oh. See you later. Alright. Okay. Now they're dealt with. Safety within its walls. We need to find him again. Which will come back. I think he might go back up. Is he there now? Shall I go have a look? Shall I go have another look? See if he's there? Like, ooh, if I can get some arrows. Were these some arrows here? I can then just sleep around him and he's running away. And it's done dust. I don't have any arrows there. That's bad. Oh well. Just. I don't know the tackle button. I'm sure... What's this donkey doing? Huh? I'm sure... Nah, he's not here. No, he's not here. 
So I'm going to have to come back another time by the looks of things. Um, when he when he goes back and catch him, but I just get stuck on like walls and such things like that, you know. When I'm trying to run away or trying to run after him, it happens to me a lot. Okay, so next we're going to go over to this face. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to do the board game or not. Uh, I know a few people actually enjoyed the board game, so I might actually give it a go. However, I think I want to go check out this face over here. Like, the mask. The masquerade mask. Like you could in a fight. Yeah, cheers. Is that you? It is. Uh, right, let's speak to this guy. Approaches. Ah, this Me? is the flight. Ah, many apologies. You are no child, simply a frail and fully grown fool. <laughs> Do we know each other? I know you're a weakling. And you, you need only know my impressive scale and flawless build. Okay. Why do you speak to me this way? We are flighting. I'm rubbish at this. I've consented to nothing yet. Fine. Do you wish to fleet against me? Well, because you've said it so I nicely. Do. Uh, let's do Big Bet. Let's go Big Bet. Here's my wager. I'm ready for you now. Go big or go home. Right, mate. Let's have it. Have you ever seen muscles as massive as mine? Um, you have the form of a very large swine. I'm not a muscle but shot by your pride. What make up muscle you lacking in spine? I think... I think this is it. What you make up in muscles, you're lacking in spine. Yeah. More than strength, I can boast that my features are fair. Um, your pride is misplaced. You're as plain as they come. No, I don't like your features on your hair. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. That one seems like it. They seem perfectly placed to give children a scare. You're brilliant. Ah, oh, yes. we're doing it. Have you ever met someone so witty and quick? Something about thick, surely. There we go. No, you're quite like uh, your arms, just incredibly thick. Can't say that I have. You are on YouTube, no. Uh, charm of a wood tick. It has to be the first. No, you're quite like your arms, just incredibly thick. Come on, I win this wage. Brutal. I adore it. <laughs> Wonderful. Rare to find someone with any flighting skill. You deserve every bit of your bet and more. I'll remember some of those insults. Nice. Happy to be of service. How much did we win? Ah, it's charisma level two. When in flighting jewels increase your charisma level, which unlocks special dialogue options in certain situations. Something, something, and something. A new travel point has been added to your world map. Nice. So we've got a new fast travel now, which is here, which is great. We're going to go and do this. We've got a shop over there. We need to go back and check on matey boy horns. I don't know what the horns are. Um, however, we need to also go to this little... Uh, I think this is another artifact. Or is it a mystery? No, I think it's an artifact. Right. Okay, so I don't know if we actually won any money off that. But uh, we've got a charisma level, so that's that's all right. It is Rolf. Yeah? Yeah? We raided with you that one time up on the northern coast. I am flattered you remember. It was the first time Styrbjorn let us raid so far from home. And Sigurd was sure you took more than your fair share. You're still raiding at your age. We need to grab what we can before Harald has his say across Norway. But I only plan them now. I let others do the heavy work. Oh, yeah. In fact, I'm looking for someone to lead my crew. I would like to help you out, but I have my own crew now. I did not mean you, but I could use your help choosing a leader. I have picked out a few to be tested. Test it. How? If you want to see someone's true character, test it in battle. Huh. Show me your picks. My crew Let's go. Down by the docks. Rolf the Raider. Mostly. Oh, he runs. Oh, what's this? Sorry, Rolf. I'll be with you in a sec. They compare to me and Sigurd? There is no compare. Okay. There is no comparing. You are building some reputation, Eivor. They're talking about you up and down the coast. Good talk or bad? Depends on who you talk to. 
Mostly huh. good. Do not huh. worry about that. Right, no, they should worry about me. <laughs> right. Okay, so I've seen this on YouTube. This is my raiding crew, Eivor. I think but we lose this. Always. Other areas. I don't think you can win this. But let's give it a go. We will hammer these lumps of meat into men and women of iron. Into raiders. So which from this unlucky lot would lead your crew? See that big brute, Odbjorn? He does not speak much, but he could power a ship by himself. That shield maiden is Ashshield the Keen. Her blade is as quick as her wits. <laughs> and then, there is oh. the Gills. Rolf! Who is your friend? Keep your head on the fight or someone will crack it. All right! That one is so thick, he could shatter your shield. But the other men like him. And those are the best of the bunch. So, those three, yeah? I've handled more. Oh, no. Them all at once? Why not? Raids are the stuff of chaos itself. They need right. a test with no rules. I think we always lose this. But let's see. It was hard enough finding this many. Listen up, you sea slugs. This is Ava Wolfkist, who has killed more men than you will ever meet. Ava Wolfkist? I have heard of you. This will be great. Right. You want to lead my crew? You must fight Ava. Best fighter wins. No killing, no maiming. Other than that. Okay, this guy. 3v1. I am ready. <laughs> What's the sound of the punch? Okay. To be ruthless. You have oh no! To learn. I tried dodging that. Oh no! I'm almost dead already. What is this? Right. Take out one at a time. I need to come off this. I am getting absolutely destroyed right now. Heal. Okay. What? <laughs> they grab you instantly. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> Dodge. And I've run out of stamina. Dodge. 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 I've got no healing. Dodge. No, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not. Yeah, I am. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. <laughs> it was an honor beaten one. Thanks. Thanks, man. Now I've got no healing left. That is that is a difficult fight. Rolf, your raiders are tougher than they look. Tougher than you know. Thorgil's got back up after you went down. He finished the fight. Did you see what you were looking for? Yes. I did not think Thorgil's could do it. But he is thick-headed. Like his old man. <laughs> Wait. That is your boy, Tiny Thor. He used to barely reach my belly. He has grown. And now he will want to take everything from me. But such is the way of children. Take some silver for your trouble. And a little extra. For cheating you and Sigurd on that raid. Good luck. See, I don't think we're meant to win that one. Raider, recruit. Maybe you can. Maybe I'm just rubbish. Um, but it's it's really difficult. Let's go on the way. It's on the way, isn't it? So we can check to see if Mr. Thief's there. Although we've barely got any HP now. Is this food that I can... No, it's not. Uh, where are we going? We're going up here. Uh, we want to go up here. And see if that guy's back. Because I know he goes back. But I just don't know how long you have to wait until he does go back. Have I got any arrows yet? No. Turn that. Can I press one? I can still do one without arrows. So I can put him to sleep. Cool. Because when he's going up that stretch, I can just put him to sleep. Not your choice. Oh, I missed. Did I miss? Your treachery ends here. I got him. Please, I never betrayed Farron on my life. I was frightened and I fled. And when I returned, everyone was gone or dead. And yet you looted our dead, bartered the ashes of their lives. It that was, was a shot. I, I sold nothing for a long time. I thought I missed. But the weight grew too heavy, and I needed to eat to survive. This is not living. Without honor, we are worse than beasts, and have no hope of a better life beyond this realm. This world is all I know, and this life all I have left. Would you take that from me? 
Take yeah. anything you want from my <laughs> shop. Take everything. Just let me live. Right. Somehow we hit that shot. Oh, I thought we missed like, but um, apparently we hit it. I'm gonna want to watch that back and see if I actually hit it or not. Anyway, um, so we got the XP from that. That's now done. We could go play the dice game. Um, I'm not too sure because I don't want the episode to be a bit too long. So I I might come. I might. Uh, I want to at least do it once in each town because I think you get. I think you have like you don't have to, but I think you get like a big reward for doing it one. Uh, it shouldn't take too long to do. If it's boring, I can always cut it out. Or maybe I can just fast forward it with a song in the background again or something like this. No. <laughs> I've had enough. Got a little bit risky towards the end. Um, but we got Udin. So because we've beaten her, we now get her power. So we've actually got the regeneration one for next time. So it might be worth just doing each one at each camp. Just to make sure we get the tick on the board on the map. Um, I might just fast forward it though for future games. Now you know how it works. Um, yeah, let's go get this. I think this is the artifact. Oh, that was the wrong button. Where is it? 
Oh, it's one of them notes again. Okay. And... Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Right, so let's go up here. This this way. And it won't fly away as soon as we get up. And we can sort of prepare ourselves. Right, go. Go, 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 go. Get it. Get it. Get it. <laughs> okay, jump. No, no, no. That way. Thank you. Go, 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 go. God, it's so fast. How are you meant to get this? Come on. We get it. We can do this. Please. Jump. Thank you. Run. Get it. Get it. Get it. Nice. We got it. Tattoo design collected. Get in. That's three out of three artifacts in this town. Some gold over here. Let's do a time lapse. Okay, so we got the treasure. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go check out what these horns are. And once we've checked out the horns, we've done this whole area. So um, off we go. We, we leave this area now. And uh, we go back to the story, which I'm really looking forward to, actually. Uh, so let's go down see what these horns are about. Um, I have no idea what this could be might just be nothing I'll take on all shall we lock horns oh it's the drinking challenge you take the prize oh okay uh yeah that's true how much silver are you willing to part with uh I'm not very good at this one but I beat the other one so let's go big bet the horde it go big or go home Man your horn. I forgot how you do it you is it E or is it spacebar we got. We're gonna find out. Spacebar. Okay. Sorry, I can't really talk on this. I have to go to the street. I wonder if I'll get better as drinking as more I do it. The first one, you don't have to. Oh, she's choking. Oh no, I'm choking. Let's do this. Come on. I'm gonna start falling over soon. Please don't fall over yet! What? No! <laughs> the amount of concentration I put into this is unreal. Please don't fall over. I can feel myself going. This is so difficult. No! It's <laughs> oh. oh, we nailed it! I feel. Maybe we didn't, but I feel like me now. I feel, oh look, it's a whale. Is that a whale, or am I just really drunk? Um, I don't remember it being there before I started drinking. However, we're done. Okay, let's just get back to the story. Um, yeah, let's, let's get back to the story. Right. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm either going to time lapse this now, um, or we're just going to skip, and we're going to go straight up here. Okay, so we fast travelled. Uh, well, you guys fast travelled. I had to go get a ship and <laughs> row it or sail it all the way across around where we started, up and around here, and we are now almost at Alrakstad, where that treasure map is. Um, it's a suggested power level 280 at the bottom right, so I'm not too sure what's going to be expecting us, but yeah. Here we go. Let's, um, let's go and board. Let's go and stop here and see what awaits us. 
Have you ever seen so many ships docked at once? Never. Nor has there been a gathering of kings so let's large as this. Let's put her in here. Okay, let's jump out. And let's go and talk to whoever we need to talk to. We're going to just ignore the treasure on the map for now. We're going to go and do the story. Find and speak to Sigurd. Right, do I have to find him? Seriously? Like, surely he's in the big house. Yeah, surely he's in the big house. Let's just go straight to the big house. Where's the big house? Um, I'm assuming he's up there. Your clan is a foul stench. We oh. Are strong, is it him? Yes. Did I find him? Oh, nice. Not in the big house. You've just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you've lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seat stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. I agree. We should kill him. Basim, watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver? The size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree. Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. You want me to join your brotherhood? Is this how your brotherhood operates? A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, their allegiance hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. Give it a try. Might just put a hood up, don't you? Nice and easy. Things you should know before you step into his camp. Oh, following him. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. Why do I have the feeling? A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. That we're somehow far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. But that was draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. That we somehow were gonna mess this up. <laughs> I have a feeling. I don't know why. I've not and seen past this either. Here, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. Okay. Hold B. B's hood. B for... Hmm. Gorm is there. In the camp ahead. Oh. In this camp. Okay. But wait. Don't we have to walk? I, I don't know how to walk. But do we just walk past? Ah. <gasps> no. Okay. So, wait. Does this work or does it not work? You have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Okay. Maybe it's like a distance thing. Like it works up to a certain distance maybe? Or can I just walk? 
Okay. Um, just want to get past. Right. Let's have a look. Evil. You are a shit. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. Why don't you just stab him now? Or punch him. <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harold's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. Okay. The old thing will have started. I should find these bushes. We are still not the healthiest from earlier when we had that fight. Right. So we're gonna go find Sigurd. Uh, see what he has to say. We're not picking up any treasure yet. I want to. I want to time lapse that. But we're gonna go up to to the big house. And see what Sigurd has to say for himself. Okay, so we're at the big house or the map. Uh, let's see what Sigurd has to say. He probably knows about our actions, I'd imagine. Uh, let's see. Not too sure if he's going to know about what we did with Gorm. However, do we really care that much? me to say he does thank you <laughs> his day will come oh gods i hate long speeches only when you're not giving them many of you knew my father halfdan the black a great man who achieved great things they buried halfdan's leg near our temple the crops have never grown tall <laughs> they buried his arse near ours and we get nothing but a muddy river! I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify. And turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blotted before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? Me. I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will <laughs> not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Yuvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. Thanks. My king, I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kurtveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Stirbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortvi. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrout, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play <laughs> out. This is a serious charge, Gorm. 
and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Eivor Wolfkist, you are Kurtwe Slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Kill him. Let me kill him. Kill him. I would send him to hell as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exiled. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. See, if we killed him, he wouldn't have mind. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. I agree with Sigurd. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, dear Bjornjarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. Well, King Harold just spoke. There was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I seek Valhalla. I am bound to Sigurd. I do not... Ah. Let's go. We're not bound to Sigurd. We think he might betray us. I seek Valhalla. I dream of a glorious death. But not at the cost of betraying my family. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust. And I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and no. I bear you no ill will. Or both. You know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. Oh, let's leave Norway. Let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Right, guys. I think that is it. I think that's going to bring the end of the episode 6. So thank you guys for staying tuned. Uh, next episode looks like we're going to be um, probably doing something with Gorm. I can't imagine him being banished is going to like finish. Um, I, I, don't, I just don't see it finishing there at all. So... I think Gorm's going to be probably the future um, of the next couple of episodes. Uh, but I think this is going to probably bring the close of episode 6. Just waiting for the loading screen. And it's probably going to say we completed the quest. Carol's colors. He's New already quest. marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny puppy. Harold may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. There we go. Right, so this is going to be the end of episode 6. 
next episode we'll put on the skill points we'll go find uh, Sigurd and um, we'll continue the journey however like I said I do think Gorm's probably going to be in the next couple of episodes probably going to have to fight him at some sort of point don't see him going quietly banished away or we're probably going to go look for him or something uh, really excited for that so stay tuned if you enjoyed like the cleaning up again the like this episode was cleaning up the town uh, doing the mysteries getting the artifacts having a few games I do want to do them in each one, but I might just fast forward them in future ones. Now you know just sort of what's going to go on. Um, or I might just say I'm just going to clean them up and then just skip by it. Uh, however, I hope you enjoyed the episode. See you in episode 7. Thanks, guys.